Fort Worth Westside. Good morning, Dr. B. Does our body start producing glucose in response to eating food, even if one eats something with no carbs in it? Two points. First, you'll hear that there is a neurologic, a brain-related response for insulin. And yes, you will typically see people, even if they eat no carbs at all, still see a little bit of a bump of glucose. That comes from release of glucose from the liver, usually. There is some of that response. The other thing that you'll see is protein. Protein causing some release of insulin and some release of glucose from the liver. So, yep, you can get some of that. But nope, if you're not going over 120, that's about as safe as you can get, keeping it 120 or less. I've got plenty of full-blown type 2 diagnosed diabetics. The only time of the year their blood sugar gets over 120 is when we're doing an assessment, an OGTT, an IR, insulin response. And it's because they're managing their diet. Fort Worth, having a 70% blockage in an artery always requires stent if I don't have any symptoms, such as a shortness of breath, chest pain, or other issues. I've changed lifestyles months ago. So does it have it? I mean, that's the whole point. If you go down that slippery slope of agreeing to a stress test and then agreeing to the coronary angiogram that gets recommended, usually at that point, they're going to find plaque. And the question is, when does that plaque need to have a cover? And when will the cover on that plaque actually prevent a heart attack? And that's what we've been saying. It doesn't. This is not a plumbing issue. This is a metabolic issue. Meaning you look at the plumbing and you see, oh, there's some places in the heart and the vessel where I'm starting to get some squeezing. And the assumption is when you see that plaque, I need to put a stent in there because that's where the heart attack is going to happen. No, that's not the issue. That assumes that hemodynamics, blood flow, is what causes the heart attack. That's not what causes the heart attack. What causes the heart attack is inflammation, a metabolic issue where your immune system's attacking that plaque and some soft inflamed plaque leaches out into the bloodstream. That stuff causes a clot. It's a clot that causes the problem, not the plaque itself.